Hello and welcome everybody to episode fuck 13? 13, yeah. 13. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Uh Alyssa Alyssa's back. She has the cat cam going. Hi besties. Literal little old Here's the little lady. Little lady <laughs> in a stubby bitch's hand. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> But yeah, so as you can also see, uh, Hector, post-editing, is going to have a webcam. He doesn't have a webcam right now that I can see, at least. Um, but Here. he's doing something right now. I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. Mm. Um, wow, so the first thing we're going to talk about, because we're, we're really winging this episode. We don't really have any like topics that someone hasn't already like gone in depth about. Or topics that are too late for us to really talk yeah. about now. Yeah, exactly. What do we have? So we have the songs that would that stump us, and I guess yeah, I'm just gonna go on. there and hopefully we fucking like just ramble. Hopefully, I yeah, feel hopefully like we've we just missed out off. on a bunch of topics in like the really past three did. episodes. Yeah, we really did. I mean, I was gonna talk about the Microsoft thing. Um we uh we had the convo where do foreskins go right yes <laughs> okay yeah without me that one Thankfully. was an awesome episode <laughs> how could you forget that <laughs> still checking he's like it's a very important conversation yeah, it's very needed important. to be had yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there was like a montage clip of all the podcasts together it would that would definitely be like the biggest one. Oh, absolutely! Just, <laughs> just the foreskins. We really went hard on the foreskin episode. It was wild. Yeah, clap those foreskins. <laughs> <laughs> Swish them around on your tongue with some wine. I. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, so Kelly wanted to talk about songs that stump us, and basically what that implies is like songs that we go to when we're feeling down and we just want to feel depressed. Uh, you know what, Kelly? I would love to know yours. Shoot. Well, the songs that really get me upset would most likely be like there was just one. It was like this country song, and it was like I for totally forgot the name, but. It made me cry on the way home from work at uh, McDonald's. Oh. I was like, damn it. Um, <laughs> Freddie Mercury has a lot of good sad songs. Oh, he does, yeah. Like, he bellows his voice perfectly, and you, like, feel that energy from it. and kind of makes you emotional listening to it. I feel it. Elliot, do you listen to country? Mm, no. I There's some songs I wouldn't dismiss automatically but uh no i wouldn't say i'm a country fan good it's good. country's ass good country <laughs> countries can Damn. suck it <laughs> grow up well, yeah grow so up babies. you fucking baby <laughs> bitch <laughs> grow up country is i bet cool? you smell like nickels <laughs> well, oh now what i thought you <laughs> <laughs> you thought something else was coming out didn't you Racist bitch. <laughs> I don't know. Um, also, um, how is about there you? like? Wait, Kelly, is there um, like a specific song? Uh, from just any song, like one that's been stuck with you for like forever, that always gets you in that kind of mood. Uh, I would say it's a hard life by Freddie Mercury. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, that um, one's so good. Yeah, he's just singing one. about how he's a lot of his songs. He's just talking about how alone he is, and he's not really very fulfilled in his social stuff. But Yikes. that song's like, I'm looking for love, and it well, it's not necessarily looking for love. It's just like how important having a partner in your life is, mm -hmm. just to share these raw emotions with, and that kind of makes me think of Jar and I. And I always look back of like all the ups and downs he went through. And now he's crop What's dusting it? something. <laughs> huh? He's hot boxing the living room. Hot <laughs> boxing the living room. <laughs> Ripping ass. 
for context, <laughs> he was. So he said that the room was warmer than when we put on the thermostat, and I was like, "You're probably hot boxing with farts or something." <laughs> and then I wasn't realized. I didn't realize that the mic was on. I was like, "Fuck!" And then all you guys fucking heard it and laughed. <laughs> that was pretty fucking funny. It was. It was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. What about you guys? Is there any songs you go up like "fuck" to? I did not that specific uh, sound. Uh, but... Specific sound. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa? This one Christina Aguilera song from Burlesque, Bound to You. Um, I completely only tie it to that scene because it makes me emotional every time I watch it. But like every time I hear the song now because of that, I cry. That song just if I'm in a sad mood, I'll listen to it and sob for ten minutes straight. <laughs> sob. Is it uh, did Cher sing that one? Or no, it's Christina Aguilera. Yeah, Christina I just saw that movie. It was so fucking funny. Ah, so good. I don't think I've ever seen it. I've never seen it. You gotta watch it. No, I just so watched nice. um, Princess Bride for the first time, and oh fuck, what was the other one? Brokeback Mountain. Whoa, <laughs> that's an instant classic right there. <laughs> I had no idea it was. Um, you didn't know it was gonna what, be like Heath that. Ledger and oh yeah. Fuck, how did uh, Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had no idea it was them two. And it was actually a pretty fucking good movie. It's a really Their good first... movie. Yeah. The first time they had sex, they fucking raw dogged it. Dude, <laughs> they went. They were so aggressive about it. Is it that all, that... all gay sex is? You don't. Okay. First off, it's the 60s, and these cowboys, their buttholes are bushwhacked, so they're not going to be pampered or clean. <laughs> oh my yeah. And they're using okay. spit as fucking lube. Oh so no, my that's God. a no for me. I mean, that's not what I was referring to. <laughs> oh. I was talking about no, like, how they is. were like, basically like wrestling. Like how aggressive hey, they come were. Hey, come here, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's because they're like, like they were. Yeah. Yeah, it, like, that's their first, like... Yeah, it's like kind of like they're experimenting with each other. So they're like, oh, yeah. man, hey. Yeah. So. <laughs> really good movie, though. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> Come here, you. Hey, I'll Sorry, I didn't need to get so right graphic about it. But... No, no, that was. Bushwhacked. Amazing. <laughs> Bush... <laughs> Fucking bushwhacked spit for lube. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, God. when I saw him, like he just did like the smallest little spit as lube, and then just shoved it in there. I'm like, so, that can't feel good. Uh, so I've it I've can't. never actually seen the movie. Do you like physically see them fuck? No, uh, you don't. You don't see their actual fucking dick you in see, the ass. But you probably just see some side butt, and that's it. Yeah, there's a lot of side butt. In there. Oh, is... actually, they jumped off the waterfall or the water. Yeah. And they're butt naked. Yeah, they were butt naked in that. So you saw Heath Ledger's dick? From like, distance. from very far. And you don't even know if it was the real one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what scene was that again? She's writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah. In what frame? There we go. <laughs> and enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Enhance that image. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hector, what's Anyways, a yeah. what's a song that really pulls your heartstrings? I think I think you and Alyssa already know one. Uh, but Joji. Mockingbird. Mockingbird, oh, bro. I just remembered Ooh. Mockingbird. Remember when I had Mockingbird, I Mockingbird on fucking repeat? Oh. <laughs> all the time. For those who obviously don't he know this, sad. we would. <laughs> Hector used to be very, very down bad. Um, he, I was no, I was down sad. Dude. I was down sad. <laughs> he, he would be like, we'd be like playing games one night. Me and Alyssa would be vibing, and then Hector is out here. Like the second we die, he just immediately drink, fucking mm-hmm. Mockingbird. <laughs> it was Drinking really and sad. And Google Play Mockingbird. Yep. Mockingbird by Eminem. Oh, oh my god. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Stop. What amazing content right, so far. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
Okay, but yeah, Mockingbird and uh, I guess Jar of Hearts. Mm, yeah. That so good. joyous. Not so cry joyous. worthy, but good. It's Not like one of the songs I feel like you can like scream. I feel like you can like True. not scream but like definitely yell that song. Yell along with, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think that's all I got. I mean, there's probably a couple Joji songs. Oh, absolutely! Fuck, like you do? Dude, Are you shitting me? Dude, like you do? Like live? you live? I was tearing up. I oh was crying. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that was too good. It was really, really good. Um. Yeah, so, I mean, like you do, uh, for me, when the world caves in, absolutely, like, one of those that just fucks me up. Uh, mm. uh, what was it? Fuck. I Love You So by the Walters. I keep screaming that one. That one's pretty good. Um, side. I have a lot, actually. <laughs> uh, Sideways by Citizens Cope. And no more that I can think of that like really really that I'm just just immediately fucks me like it's 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 everything else is kind of like I listen to it a few times and it's like yeah I, I get pretty sad world caves in hurt hits home Is so that one fucking hard I don't know I don't think that one's like. I don't think it's meant to be like, sad. I can, I I think can yell along with that song even when I'm happy as fuck. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. It's a really good song. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's Boy not or girl like, version, though. Both. I love the girl version for, like, the yelling portion, I think. Mm-hmm. And then for the um, sad vibe, I think it's more the male version. So... Alright. Both yeah. very good. I have both versions. Um uh, Kelly was absolutely right about um Freddie Mercury. Fucking the game. I love the game. I think that one's pretty good for emotions. Ooh, um Never mind, I can't think of the name of the song, so give me a minute. Somebody to love. That song always makes me Yeah, love, that's yes. a classic. Yeah. It's a big one. Mm-hmm. It's a big one. Fat bottom girls. I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> makes you cry every car. time. Makes you cry every time. <laughs> yeah. The album cover for... What was that movie? It was... So What was that movie that they did? They did like a collaboration with this movie, and that was like the only one they ever done. God, look it up. It's know. like, Bert Power! That's how it goes. Oh, uh, Savior of the Universe, I think it's called. I think so. Flash Gordon. It was fucking yeah, Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. <laughs> I, don't like that. That. I don't think that's how that. I don't think Flash! That's... Got it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think that's all. I'm getting I, further I that's and further. <laughs> I don't know. I thought, I thought that's how that goes. I don't know what you're talking about, though. Um, yeah, we've heard it. Yeah, we've heard it. We've heard it. Uh, yeah, no, I just had it in my head. Oh, father and son. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard that, but it was a part of the uh, second Guardians of the Galaxy. Really good. Really, really good. It was the scene where uh, Yondu uh, was being cremated. There was the music in the background of that, and it's really good. Huh. Yeah. Um, Okay. Is that it for that? I fucking guess that's it for that. Now we just get yeah. that was that gave us fifteen minutes, by the way. So yeah. Hector, right, if you I'm got anything, through. please for the love of God, pull it up. <laughs> All right, um, guilty pleasure movies, games, TV shows, etc. Uh, it's just like the stuff you wouldn't admit to liking right away. All right, so right off the bat, guilty pleasure movie. There's a lot of bait on this with people, but The Notebook. I love the notebook. How so? Interesting. 
What do you mean how so? It's the notebook. Oh, you have to. You have to you sell have to me. Elaborate. Yeah. 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 What the? It's the <laughs> what? It's the notebook. It's a classic. What do you? Mean? Do you well, not? You have to tell us why it's a guilty why pleasure. You, why yeah, are you guilty? Yeah. Well, because <laughs> like, seem like it's... one stigma and whatever about like guys in the notebook. Like, and not not a lot of guys really uh, like, like watch not, the notebook. Like you're not a man if you like the notebook or something. Yeah. I was thinking like that, that you like, might say like Tangled or something. Oh, I, that's my favorite Disney movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good the movie pops off. I fucking love Tangled. Yeah, well, like as a man, like it's I don't know, it might be a little bit weird, but I also really love Tangled. But I like Encanto too. So I still mm, haven't seen it. Super good. Really good. Oh, en- Encanto, whatever. Yeah, Encanto, whatever you pronounce it. Encanto. It's Encanto. <laughs> it's the best one out of Frozen and Tangled, in my opinion. I think Brave really? is still my favorite one of the those that. Yeah, that group of animators. But yeah, the brave though. Brave is good. good. I don't know if it's one of the best. I think it's still my favorite out of that of those ones. All right, all right, <laughs> Kelly. What is your guilty, guilty pleasure? Hmm, it's the one that makes me laugh the most. And I go back to it every once in a while because it's so fucking funny, but it's out of spite and it's out of, like, not from a good place, but um, there's a streamer called Brittany Venti, and back in 2015 and 16, she would make these streams where she was playing a character. She was playing, like, a valley girl, and she was just being like, oh, I'm vegetarian, I'm vegan, like... Oh, I love cats, and I, oh my god, I love all this and that, and she was being, like, a fake bitch. <laughs> and everyone in the chat was exposing her. 4chan back then would raid streams, and they'd raid hers, like, every time she was on. So there was, like, she was eating, like, a pie, and it's like, why are you eating that cat pie? And she would fucking freak the hell out. And <laughs> she was like, um, it's like, you pulled up your browser history, like, why is there so much Japanese porn? And she's like, that's not me! And the oh funniest thing, they... They accused her of doing 9 11. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like <laughs> Obama said it, you dirty liar. And she's like, I've never done it. I was four <laughs> years old when 9 11 happened. Show me a four year old who can fly a plane. And they pulled up a fucking click, clip of like the youngest flyer <laughs> like flying a plane. Oh and God. she was like, That is not right. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But I don't know. I'm not like right away to tell anyone about it because it's like, they're like, like it's not even that funny. Like I showed Jer and my sister that, and they're like, "This is kind of cringe." You mm. have an interesting sense of humor after showing us that Garfield shit. <laughs> oh my that was god, a humor. Garfield thing. It was sexual partners. I think that's what the video is called. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone, it was like three hours of people just telling either sexual partners or something, or how many you had. Yeah, like your body count. That's uh, another topic. We can go body count. Oh, fuck no. Whoa, wait, whoa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alyssa, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew exactly where you were going. Well, it was a time in high school. <laughs> Damn. Oh, gosh. We could actually tell, like, like um, best sexual experience at some point. Like, like your, your most... Okay. I don't know how to explain that. It's like memorable, like a, memorable, memorable because of like how it, it transpired. I guess I don't know. Not like in depth oh, detail about when he hit it from behind or some shit like uh, that. But like how it made you cry. He <laughs> <laughs> do be making me cry. <laughs> uh, well, let's just continue with guilty pleasures for now. Alyssa, what is your guilty pleasure movie whatever thing? Um, guilty pleasure movie, maybe Tokyo Drift. <laughs> How is that a guilt? That's that, not a you guilty pleasure. You can't feel pleasure. guilty for that. No, you literally said that it's your favorite movie right. anyway. Already. It is. Maybe not guilty pleasure. Um, I don't know Wait. what's embarrassing. 
Maybe I've, Pitch Perfect. I love that movie, and it's really stupid. Cringe. Like I can admit how cringe. That's a little it is. cringe. That's yeah, a little cringe. That's yeah. A little bit cringe. But I do know like the entire plot line, most of the obscure quotes. Like I watched it more than twenty times, probably. Oh my Wait, god! Wait, can you do the cup song? Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, but I've never done it. Long. Long. Yeah, no. Long. No. no. You just unlock a memory from middle school. These yep. bitches going like. All the fuck Dude, my <laughs> sister was one of those. She used uh, to. She yeah. asked my mom to buy red solo cups one time, just so that she could do that shit. Oh my god! You just so need a fucking... regular like plastic cup. Yeah. Well, you know, we didn't have any that were cup. like. We didn't have any that were like the same. So she just asked for mm-hmm. red solo cups because like all of our cups were different or like wouldn't fit over each other. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You just need one cup. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, cup, yeah, just it's, it's just one cup, huh? Yeah. yeah. They didn't say the Red Solo Cup song. I don't know why <laughs> yeah. I was thinking about, like... I feel like cup people stacks. did, like, what yeah, like, the cup stacks. Cup stack game? You're thinking of the cup stacking game, huh? I was thinking about... I thought they would made the cup stacking game into the cup song at some point, too. Like, I thought that that was, like, someone no, did that, people but also just stacked it. as a trend or something. Yeah. Oh, Alright, Cup well, song is just one cup... Then. Yo, but who played that cup stacking game as a kid, though? Hell this yeah. guy. This guy. I used to I had play a glow in the dark set. Did I used you? to play marbles. Uh, oh I yeah, I fucking... played marbles too. I wow. used to like have like an entire little baggie of them, and I'd bring them mm-hmm. to school with a thing of chalk. And like during recess, like since I was the only kid who knew how to play marbles, I would just play by myself. And like, <laughs> there was all these Impressive. kids playing basketball like around it, and it was like, ah, got it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot hey. how to play now, but I used to. The kids that used to bully me all stole my marbles. Oh Aww. no, <laughs> that's actually really lost sad. Yeah, you lost your marble. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Tigger's Tigger's licking you to make you feel better. Thanks, little lady. Oh. I stole your marbles, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone in my middle school in Cottonwood, they were fucking four corner bastards. They would. That's the only game they play. They would get so competitive with it. Four. We had like a line. A, yeah, you played four corners. Four square. I remember four the... square. It was four, four square. square. Yeah. I remember the. Name. I wasn't good I don't at that game, so I wasn't allowed to play. I was I amazing at it. These oh. people were fucking like ball fascists, and they were like, "You're out of my court," and they like throw it at the corner, and they would make you go and get that fucking ball. Oh yep. Gosh. What mm-hmm. is? What the <laughs> good fuck are you God. talking about? So you there's four people in a square, right? right? One has a ball, and one you have to like throw the ball into another one's square, and then. It, pass into another one so they would like hold it up like uh point the ball in the air dunk it down swipe it and then hit into the corner of your square so you can't reach it yep it's kind of like um what is it so it's a big square with four squares inside of it i'd say like the closest thing to compare it to would be like ping pong with four people in your hands and like a dodgeball or like a, a rubber kickball. I, what yeah. the fuck? You guys are way more creative. All we had was like peg, mm. hacky sack, and horse. No, it's like a it's a pretty popular game. Yeah. It's just like they had it painted on the Yeah, just blacktop. painted on the yeah. concrete or whatever. It's just a square separated into four. Yeah. I had I don't think we well we definitely didn't have that. But mm. yeah. We our little volleyball courts didn't have like grass or sand. It was fucking blacktop, so you couldn't <laughs> dive for that shit because you'd die. Yeah, well, we, we had too. blacktop everywhere. You would eat shit on those blacktops, but mm-hmm. they'd make you into <laughs> they'd make you into men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's a, man. That's the difference. Get like a scrape and, and a burn at the same time. You, brew, you you lose your fucking arms at that point. Like, that's mm. the bottom of them, at least. That's, like, down to the bone shit. Oh. I was playing handball when I was in, like, what was it, third grade or something? 
and the ball went all the way to the lunch tables and so I ran over to get them and I tripped and slammed my head on one of the tables and a big old welt on my forehead. Ooh. Oh, Why are those like one of those solid <laughs> picnic tables or like a metal one? One of the metal ones. Ooh. Yeah. Why does your school life sound so awful? <laughs> yeah, you haven't great. said like got... one good thing about it so Unless far. It's got trauma. <laughs> I went to the worst public schools you probably could have for elementary and middle school. And you decided to be the kid that plays marbles at those things. <laughs> 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 You're like I I want to face death head on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um wow. So we're just getting into trauma now. Um what was I saying uh before? The the uh the ooh, the sexual experience. Oh, whoa. 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 All right. All right, kids. This is where it gets a little rated. This is where it, this is where it gets a little PG. All right. <laughs> hand the, PG hand 13, your phone oh to God. your mom and tell her to skip to this. To, to the, this uh, time. You, your, yeah. time we'll do some time. editing magic. You know, I, I, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some <clears> editing <throat> uh, while I'm uploading and make sure that I put the timestamp in the description. I really doubt you're actually gonna do that. No, I'm really, <laughs> I'm really not. I already hate doing the description for these things in general. <laughs> God, you're so lazy. <laughs> I, it's so fucking hard. I have to like copy and paste Hector's link every time I fucking do it, and it's so uh, annoying. Why don't you just have like a? Fucking, I wish there was like a, a clipboard ready. thing. Why don't you have a template ready? Like, like in for... a Google Doc or something. Yeah, I'm not a fucking nerd. I don't know. Oh, you mean you kind of fucking are though. You kind of fucking are How about that. Loser. What were you 3D printing? Was it 3D printing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. If you're not a nerd, what if, what have you 3D printed so far? Yeah. Let's hear all these non-nerd. Uh, yeah. Some some some, <laughs> some bitches. 3D printed oh, some bitches. <laughs> That's even worse. You have to print you yourself know. bitches. <laughs> Oh god, you're not helping yourself. No. I'm putting it, no. I'm putting it on the podcast right now. I'm actually printing Tanjiro's sword. I'm so cool. At least I well, fucking nerd. <laughs> fucking nerd. <laughs> we just talked about your entire high school life last episode. Fuck off. You got yeah. caught for cheating when you weren't even cheating. And I aced it. And then got detention. Oh, that was, yeah, yeah. Sexual experiences. Sexual got experiences. Who needs them? Who need, oh, Who I needs need them. them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bro, high school. I swear to God, was like the mo- like the pinnacle of my shit. I swear to uh, God. Miles, you were the you most think? sexual person I've ever met back then. Seriously, was he? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, Kelly. Was he actually, or was, or has he been like capping this entire time? <laughs> he was a whole player. It, they were fucking in the weird spots. Oh, but he lady. was the weird kid. Well, please, yeah. please, please, man, humble, humble. It's all right. It's all right. I get it. <laughs> You're in the presence of a G. All right, it's fine. I can't believe this. No. <laughs> I mean, if if you had a worthy participant with you, you could have done it too. He, like, if you're dating back then, you're you're it's golden, and he had the time and the space and the place for it. Wait, what's up? Like, it doesn't matter if you're like a a jock or a nerd. It's just like it doesn't. Yeah, if you have someone. Yeah, like if you Anza. if you have yeah, Anza's is like honestly like if I was a lot smarter and like just a lot more go getter with a lot of shit. I, probably could, oh my god dog's barking i probably could have like definitely boosted that body count by at least three and they get mm-hmm. someone pregnant <laughs> yeah yeah you would have yeah, not wanted yeah, that yeah, nope. yeah, he gets it anyway my biggest flex i should say flex i shouldn't say we shouldn't say like best experience but we should say biggest flex so my biggest flex okay. is that uh i did it in the cl- in a classroom i did it in the library 
I did it. I think I did it around somewhere in the gym. Um, Narnia, I think at some point. Narnia. That's a good spot. If it, for those who don't remember, you did it with the lion, didn't you? Spot. Oh, yeah. you know what? I was thinking about lion. Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. Yeah, right? that's what I thought. <laughs> right, for, for context, Narnia was a... Yeah, Yeah, for yeah, context, in, was that the last episode that we talked about that? Yes. So in the last episode, we talked about how there was just like, like a water drain pipe that would come from like the top of our school and go all the way to the bottom of this hill uh, in front of our school. And so we would go to like that bottom part and just like walk in for a while and it was just, just, it was just a giant fucking tube, so it wasn't anything crazy. People would fuck in it. People would suck in it. People would jerk off in it. Gosh. So. Animals. Is it prepubescent mm. paradise. Dude, seriously, fuck. And uh, all those hormones. Honk, what is your biggest sexual flex? Flex? Like, in all, all of my life? Or, like, in high school? Or... All your life. All life. All life. Uh. Uh, I'd really have to think about this. I feel like I don't really have many flex-worthy things. I mean, there is the fact that I stole my girlfriend from her boyfriend at the time and then mm -hmm. fucked her a week later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is... Uh, I, I kind of want to tell this from my perspective. Hector fell in love with Sam, and he was really sad because she was dating someone. And then, but that's they back became... when I would play Mockingbird all the time. Yeah, yeah, but they would. He was sad because of it. <laughs> but he would play, or she would invite him over a few times, and like he would like be reluctant. This one time he came over, he was chilling in her room, and he saw a picture of her now ex boyfriend eating her out. Hector's it was like a fucking now in Polaroid <laughs> on her mirror. Ugh. Hector's now the one in that picture in the mirror. Yep. Oh my it's gosh. funny how things work. Huh? I stole the spot. Good that time. is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good shit. That's a pretty big flex. I feel like that's a fucking solid flex. It's a real accomplishment. Yeah, yeah. it really is. Uh, Alyssa, uh, I'm scared to ask about yours. I don't know what my sexual flex would be i feel like I mean, you could just flex. say your body count i don't, I don't know. Know. <laughs> you could just flex that one around honestly <laughs> just make us all feel the, small it, does that one mean, um okay i guess i could <laughs> um 30 <laughs> but. i don't know why i was thinking like 24 no solid it said 30 solid like 30. in and out 30 or just <laughs> oh that's not a bad thing i was just expecting small, small. <laughs> i'm sorry like <laughs> no it's okay this is the time we get to slut shame her my uh, biggest <laughs> other flex is um my boyfriend alan you know when he left me for that other bitch but then he came crawling back because he <laughs> with me. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh That's my your God. biggest flex? That's a yeah. good flex. Alan well, gets cut out that effect. small part and send it to Alan. Yeah, was, <laughs> I'm going to make that its own little TikTok, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, Alan's going to listen to this and fucking suck your toes. <laughs> he's just going to yeah, He's going to be like, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 uh, is anyone here into toe play no no absolutely not okay Kelly? uh i'm not okay i was just you were quiet and they both said no so i thought well, <laughs> no <laughs> yeah he had to think about it. <laughs> um kelly how about you oh boy so let me paint the scene right Oh, yeah. So I came back. It was it was after high school. I went directly to Kansas to my grandparents because I don't fucking know why I was an idiot. And I was thinking of getting a job there. But after that, I was on a sexual walkabout. I was oh, really. I was a, I was a oh good lord. Um, 
I don't know how many people I had. I had more than eight. Mm, that didn't even count like in and out. Like probably three or four people I've in and out with. Mm-hmm. Um, but the one of the in and outs I did, I had to sneak out of my house at twelve o'clock in the morning, drive my car. I left the gate open on purpose so I can get out quietly, and I drove my car out. I went to this guy's house. He was. It was like in a big, huge house, and he was sharing it with his dad. His room was fucking disgusting and like littered with crap. I was like, what? okay, this and is a flex. Like... <laughs> well, the way how I did it, how I executed that entire plan just to go do it, was a big flex. Pretty flex. The guy yeah. itself really wasn't. I mm. was like, okay, and then he was like, yeah, you play PlayStation. I'm like, I guess. He's like, we should play Overwatch. I'm like, ha, definitely. <laughs> and then I blocked him after. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Um, all my like in and out encounters have been kind of like you keep saying in and out. What is what does that mean? Like like more than like penetration. Just like penetration that's what I meant. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> in and out. In and out. Get I you. keep thinking about burgers, keep thinking man. about burgers. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> um. So Kelly, uh, what was the oldest guy you've been with? You said the old guy, uh, right? <laughs> you do not want to know. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to know. Wait, really? Uh, the oldest guy I've been with is the first guy I sucked off and swallowed for. Didn't you? Did you? Didn't you say it was like good too? Like it wasn't like mediocre. It wasn't. It was my very first time sucking off with someone. Mm. Um, the very first time I was jerked off with that guy. I never touched him. Um, it was like jerked off, come, and then left. But the guy, the other guy, I snucked out for. I was like, yeah, hey, I'm gonna go uh, to the mall with my friends. And they're like, okay. So I left and I go see this guy's house. He's mm-hmm. like a smoker. I was like, I didn't know that. I was like, Ugh. I just went directly to the business. <laughs> the bi- Straight down to business. And then we uh, showered and then finished there. And that was it. Is it like, I feel like, how the fuck does, have you done anything in the shower? Well, obviously you have if you finish there, but like, like actual penetration in the shower? Because isn't that like even harder? Mm, it'd be easier. Uh, if you're cleanliness wise, it would be easier. <laughs> um, But yeah, water's not really a good lubricant when you're yeah, soaking wet. Horrible lubricant. <laughs> yeah, it's a really bad. But if you use soap and stuff, it'd be fine. What? Good to know. Not like I don't know. You're cleaning the soap insides out. Hair <laughs> conditioner. Oh no. Nah. Would that not be spicy? <laughs> no, I never fucked anyone with hair conditioner, but oh, use it to Wow. Yeah, that'd be bad. This is a riveting okay. conversation. <laughs> I'm probably too graphic. You're going to have to put NC-17 on this fucking podcast. <laughs> it, well, no, for every video that I post, because I curse so much and I just say pussy fart or some shit like that, <laughs> I always make sure that it's 18 and older. There you go. If, it, if kids can watch was. this, I don't know. Which I know they can, but it's like, at the same time, it's like, uh, uh I'm <laughs> preventing you from yeah. seeing it as best as I can. Yep. Not our fault. Not our fault. YouTube fault. <laughs> yep. <sighs> but my very first encounter, I don't know if I ever told you guys, but after I was done with the whole business and I pulled out, there was blood all over my lap. Oh, what? Did I, say, I think I said that once, but your first yeah. penetration? Yeah. Was it just not lubricated enough, or? I think I was going ham. Oh. <laughs> it, the result was on my fucking crutch. <laughs> was it? Um, I uh, I can't tell whose it would be. Like, did you fuck yourself up, is. or did you fuck him up? I think I, I was. Yeah. yeah. I was top, he was bottom, and uh, I it was I was wearing a condom. I was like, "Fuck!" Like, I don't want this blood on me while I take off my condom because it'll go in my pee hole. Mm-hmm. I didn't want that, so 
I was like, oh, uh, can I go to the bathroom real quick? And he's like, yeah. I was like rinsing off like a motherfucker. He had like bacterial hand soap. I just like wiped all around that fucking area. Mm-hmm. It scared the shit out of me. Well, it was a new experience yeah. in general. Yeah. Uh, but I was always like afraid like AIDS. How much HIV. blood was there? Right. Jeez. It was enough to cover like I hate to get graphic, but it's the best way to describe like, it. <laughs> murder scene? Or like just enough to cover like the pubes, you know. Mm, I see what you're saying. And I was I was like, jeez, I think he was more embarrassed, but it was it was kind of freaky. I mean, I would be too. Yeah, I feel it. I get that. No one likes a bloody asshole. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Yeah. Well, when you put it like that, like that, like that, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, God. <laughs> God damn it. I can't even, like, not think about that now. Fuck. Um, we need to find a better transition. Because, like, every number of time we're done with the topic, we're like, <laughs> and they're, like, trickles down. I never silent for a second. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like, uh, we're, we are winging it, this one. Yeah. We really are fucking winging it. I love yeah. how we've managed to go from what makes us depressed to a bloody asshole. He's, what yeah. the fuck is the thumbnail I mean, gonna be for this one? Jesus a Christ! A bloody asshole. How about that? <laughs> Perfect. Um. Okay. Here's the change. Uh. Still relevant. Um. So we we're just talking about best sexual experience, right? Like flex. Mm. Yep. Go to worst sexual experience. Oh, I can, oh, I want to tell no. Alyssa oh, for her. I want to oh, tell no. Alyssa for got her. The stories. Which one's my worst one? D- the chin. You? The chin. I don't... Wait, I don't know which one. The that therapist. Was. Oh, the what? therapist. No, that that <laughs> Girl, would be my worst. But that wouldn't yeah. be your worst. No, it wouldn't you be your my therapist? worst. No, not oh. even. <laughs> what? Bye, Tigger. <laughs> She's done. Yep. Um, no, Molesy, you can tell that one that you think oh, is my worst, but it's to, not my I get to tell it. He has to tell it? He wanted to. I, I, I kind of want to. From what um, I remember, Alyssa was like, I think you were depressed. Like, you were just sad. So like, you're just like, you know what? I'm going to fuck around a bit. Yeah. And... <laughs> And so she, this one guy hits her up, and he, the, you guys didn't even go anywhere, did you? Like, you guys, like, mm. went, like, down the street in his car or something? Yeah, we went down the street to some park. Yeah, so they they were chilling in the car or whatever. This dude, like, had, like, a neck beard, I think, you said? Yeah. And, yeah. like, he, like, so he came in, like, two seconds had a tiny dick mm-hmm. and then like when he was like trying to kiss Alyssa like he kept he kept on like trying to like full mouth her chin my entire chin <laughs> and then, he just like, opened his mouth so wide like a fucking like a fucking cobra or some yeah. shit and so like um <laughs> he was saying that uh, since he came in like two seconds, like he apologized or something like that, and he was just like, and then he started getting into depth about how he really needed this, how his girlfriend broke up with him, and how his life is so shitty. And, like, yeah, Alyssa's his just, like, sitting entire there. life story. I'm sitting there. You know, I just put on my bottoms. He's sitting there, just his underwear on, just leaned back, sighing, telling me his whole life story. Yeah, like my my girlfriend just broke up with me. And, you know, I still love her, but I'm also kind of in love with this other chick that I work with, but she's a lesbian. But I think she might go for me. And then, and then all this stuff, and I'm like, looking at the time, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not to tell you. I don't think it's you. <laughs> and then, and then at, the end of it, at the end of it, he just, like, tells Alyssa, just like, you know, you're such a good listener. You should be a therapist. You should be a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, he said I should be a therapist. Uh. <laughs> this guy had like a life story, you know, like post-net clarity. He had like a post-net brain blast. And he was like, you know what? 
think, think, think. <laughs> oh my god, that's so good. That is probably just... worse than anything I've ever had, honestly. Yeah. I've well, that's not true. That's absolutely not true. I've had I've mm -hmm. had a pretty bad one before, but it's it's nothing like that. The whale. The whale. The whale. Yeah. Had the oh whale. man, I forgot. Describe That's when I wasn't audience. talking to you. Yep. And so it probably would a really good time for you to talk to me, so you could yeah, I talk me out of that it. One. But you got to <laughs> learn on your own. You're a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I am a man with a dick, and it was thirsty. <laughs> where did you, where were you guys? Was it? That was over, uh, so I drove from where I lived to Irvine area, uh, and she was For some like, reason, I thought it was in the, huh? I thought it was in the Target parking lot. Every no, so we went to like a, like a, like an industrial not industrial but like 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 a like where you find like a bunch of offices for like random a shit. business park yeah like a business park uh we were like in a parking lot for one of them and like this chick i i don't want to fat shame anyone i'm quite large myself but this yep. woman my god she was so god. Big. i had to like do it outside the car like, I had to stand outside the car for this, and it was like, yeah, no, I, I don't even want to relive that. Oh, my God. Did you, did you seal the deal with this woman? Did I seal, did you mean, did I fuck? Unfortunately, yeah. yes. That's what I'm saying. How I had to stand it? outside the car for that. It was not good. It was really, really, really bad. Um, Afterwards, because she wanted, like, a relationship and i was like no no i'm good that probably would have been a good idea anyway but like i'm i was like yeah no i'm i'm good like straight up and like after that experience that awful experience she was like texting me um bro i want to gobble your shit right now <laughs> like just <laughs> <laughs> she was gonna eat your dick yeah, like, he was so hungry like that. I would be at work at Target and I don't know if Hector ever like noticed or something but I would like look at my phone and like get the chills and, be like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I like she did that so often that I just I had to block her cause I was gonna try to be her friend cause I you know I'm not like a complete you're a dick. gentleman yeah, yeah, I'm not a complete yeah. sure. but I was like, no, I'm, I, I can't do this. <laughs> so yeah, I block mine every time I do it. Yep. I hit it and quit it. Hit it and quit mm. it. Kelly, are you a hoe? I was. If I wasn't with Jeremy, I would probably be dying of AIDS right now. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Did did Freddie Mercury die of AIDS? Wasn't that what he died yeah, of? Yeah. yeah. Go out a fucking legend, Kelly. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Mm -hmm. I don't have to die of AIDS to do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta make a video game first. True, yeah. and then you can True. die of AIDS. <laughs> then he can die of AIDS. Yep. Well, let's get to it's there when we get there. Phobic. <laughs> Is it? These are assholes. What? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. What? I'm confused. I think Alyssa said we're homophobic. Mm -hmm. But we're what? not. Oh, you're just making. We're telling him to go I'm... get some butthole. No, to go get AIDS. And... <laughs> go get some bussy. <laughs> <laughs> some bussy. I think that was code, yeah, for bussy. <laughs> I can't oh, do that to cheer. I can't be out and about when no, I no. I'm not saying I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying like it's like it's like when you tell any straight person to get some bitches. Like, oh, it's okay. like the same thing. It's, uh, <laughs> get, some yeah. <laughs> yeah, get some AIDS. Get some AIDS. Yeah, dude, die of AIDS. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good golly, you guys are funny. You guys are funny. <laughs> Hector, what is uh, 
what what is your worst uh i don't think i have anything as traumatizing as as, as any as of us making right? someone's asshole bleed or whole therapist yeah. thing or fucking a whale yeah i guess we could just skip you because you really don't oh. have like any bad experiences they've all either been normal or great <laughs> or or lesser just not like yeah yeah yep that's good oh uh, there's this one time that girl just like i think i was hitting it from the back and like it just started queefing a bunch and then i pulled out and then it just kept queefing and it's not like i'm not like shaming it i'm not shaming it it was just like surprising how long it went for <laughs> Well, okay. It's, it's, so it was just like a about, notable like, thing to happen. Like doggy style, it traps a lot of air in that position. Yeah, listen, I know how it works. I know how it works. It's it's like I'm not shaming it or yeah, anything. I know it's, it's, it's really whatever. nothing you can like shame about. But like sometimes I wasn't like I wasn't like grossed <laughs> out or uncomfortable by it. I was just like, wow, you're just impressed. Like you're, you're just, like setting wow. you're like setting a timer. You're like, damn, <laughs> this shit's still going. <laughs> Alan laughs every time after. Good for him. <laughs> I uh, don't know much about queefs. Oh, true. Never had the pleasure. It's it's a pussy. Fart. Yeah, they just they just rip ass on your dick. It's a pussy. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can feel it sometimes too. Oof. Does it feel good? No. no. <laughs> it is. It's a very awkward thing. Do you that think you it would feel like, good if you were before. the top with a guy and he would like actually fart on your dick? Oh my god. No. Has that, wait, has that ever happened? No. <laughs> you, ever got any, you ever got any poo poo caca on it? <laughs> we shit dicks. Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, but let's not go there. No, we don't gotta talk about it. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, vagina mm-hmm. farts. Vagina farts, yes. Do they uh, smell? No. 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 It's just air. It's just the air that got in there right that second. I feel like during if, sex. I feel like after sex, if like if you pull out after like you nut or something, I feel like it smells then. Well, it just smells like the guy's fucking cum. Yeah. Pretty fucking rancid. That's if it's <laughs> after the guy came. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, queefing is a lot more after that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, God, what must it be like to have a hole right there in your body? That must be so fucking weird. You Man. have one pretty damn close. <laughs> I have one close, but I, it's not <laughs> it's almost like, the same like, thing. <laughs> I don't put anything in there yeah. for pleasure. Like it's just you, you know, could. like missing out. <laughs> <You're> missing out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try a pinky or something. <laughs> You know what, Kelly? That's actually a really good question. How did you like warm up for these things? Did you like do like a lot of like? Did you do like a lot of stuff like that before you did anything like sexual with a partner? Like with my ass? Yeah. Or oh no! You said that you are. You said that you never received, right? No. When I was on my little walkabout, I was always the top. Right. Uh, Jeremy actually took my. But virginity. Mm. And I... Yeah. Because I took his, and then we shared. Anyway. Did that suck? Because I remember you saying he's... Oh. He's packing and it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> um, first off, the condom is choking his poor little dick, and I was like, geez, um, okay, I'll just put it in. It's like, it gets getting softer and softer. I'm like, fuck. So... We had to get like ready for it, so I was just like, "Okay, I'm just gonna get on and sit." And I was like, "Oh my god, I did it all at once, too far or too fast." And I was like, "God damn it!" And then I didn't want to ruin it for him, so I just kept doing. It. Oh. oh my god, you're so thoughtful. I told him afterwards, but yeah. so you didn't like it. I might no, I did not like it. There's a G spot you can hit, but I'm not. I'm not hitting it. Do you only? Yeah. Do you only ever do uh, doggy style? 
Like, have you ever, like, mixed it up with any other, like, positions? Okay. Uh, anal sex has a lot of preparation. Right. And we rarely do that. If we, me and Jerry are going to get intimate, we would have to just jerk off. Um, or do it in between your legs, like the thighs. Like, from your... Like from your crotch to your Kinda thigh. Kind of like titty fucking, but with the thighs. Yeah. yeah. You get some lotion. Got it. Wow. <laughs> is, that, is that the sound effect you make? It's the one that I make. Oh, it's the one that mine makes. But anal sex is like Valentine's Day present. Mm. You know? How sweet. Yeah. Because uh, like... Oh, sorry. sorry, continue, continue. Because you have to stop eating for, like, you have to probably skip breakfast and lunch. It depends on what time you're going to be doing. If you're going to do it at noon, skip def- uh, breakfast. you got to clean it all out. And then you got to make it nice, you know? I'm, you sorry. Douche. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Fasting for the blasting is all I can think of. <laughs> 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 we were just, like, me and Jer are so uncomfortable with it. We are like, I don't really want to just skip out on lunch you're like okay let's just see and then do something else I'm like all right you guys do a lot of oral though don't you can you say that yeah yeah but um you that's guys like 69? the easiest what's 69ing like as a what? someone's choking <laughs> like whoever's on top <laughs> is killing whoever's on bottom that's what i was wondering like what's it like to be on top as the guy or you're laying um you lay side to side. Side, side to side. Oh, true. But what do you my... do with your top leg? Top leg? What? You just yeah. you just you just like dives. Yeah, you just just keep them arch together. it. Arch it. Like you lay one leg down and the other leg's up, like your knees up. Okay. And then vice versa for the partner. I'm gonna All get. Right. I need a spicy pick of someone. Just like, just Hector doing like a little like cutesy little thing, or like biting his fingernail for the thumbnail. <laughs> this is this has literally been like sixty minutes of porn. Oh yeah, <laughs> predominantly gay porn for some reason. But <laughs> hey, we're we're all, we're just learning here. Yeah, we're just we're just we really, really are just learning. Sharing, learning, you know. What's your favorite form of aftercare? What? What? Aftercare for like after sex, like what you and your partner do to reassure each other that you love each other and it's not just sex and stuff like that. Like what you guys do. Um, we don't really don't have to reassure ourselves. We grab the cum towel and just wipe ourselves off. (laughs) (laughs) Just, just wipe the cum off of each other. That's how. Well, I feel you guys like do it is really other. important because, like, I don't know. I at some point in my and Alan's relationship, like, it, it felt like all we did was have sex and then go and hang out with his friends. And so I was like, "Yeah, this ain't working. We need something uh, more." So you guys do like a good like cuddling and whatever afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel that there. There's. There's a degree. I feel like for you especially, that's probably a very needed thing, just because of how many people you've been with in general that have only been flings. So I think yeah. for you specifically, that's like something that's like very needed. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, I would say. I don't know. We like to do our own things a lot. Like. Mm-hmm. We rarely do stuff like we rarely like uh like hey how are you well i don't want to just i'm uh, sorry i'm walking on eggshells here <laughs> uh we cuddle at night he gives us hugs he checks up on me periodically he would now but he, talking on the podcast i'll go out there say hi um he was like hugs he likes hugging so that's kind of like reinsurement reinsurance mm-hmm. yeah i don't think i feel like if you can be independent and also at the same time know your and know and constantly, uh, I guess the word is just check up on your significant other, like it, that's pretty good. Like I feel like, uh, hugging, the uh, the cuddles, like even if they're not every single night, it still happens. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like I feel like that's fine. Independency is pretty great. 
But cuddling while sleeping is so Oh, that gets so uncomfy after yeah. a while. It's so old. Do you, are it really you... depends on the mood for me. Yeah, are you the big Sometimes or little like spoon, it. Kelly? Or do you switch it up? Um, It depends. I usually, like, if he's going to cuddle, he's going to cuddle on my chest. And it's like, I'm like, fuck, I can't sleep with this because I'm <laughs> against the wall. Oh. Right, um, yeah. But, I don't know. Uh, it's just here and there. Like, we'll wake up, we'll cuddle, and then, like... Because we're, like, half a, half awake. Right. But... Well... Jer- Jeremy does a whole lot more. He'll go out and say, Hi, how are you doing? Hug me, do whatever. And every time we eat, we uh, watch TV, and we will uh, watch, like, an episode of 30 Rock, and then we'll go back to doing our thing. 30 Rock. <laughs> uh, so romantic. I like how you guys do things. That sounds pretty nice. Yeah, it sounds really wholesome over there. It's not like you need like constant like company or anything. Mm-hmm. Just like, like you guys are just happy. Do your own thing. Yeah, you guys are yeah. just happy to have your presence for... when you have it. A good Three amount years. of time too, right? Three years. Yeah. Three years. You guys pretty much got your routine down. Is this your guys' first time living together? Yes. <clears throat> wow. Um, we're doing pretty good. Like. We're, like, so in tune with each other. We'll fight, and we'll bicker, and we'll be like, whatever. But we always know what's best for both of us together is to, you know... We have, like, Mm -hmm. our own grooves. Like, if we're set back a little bit because of a fight, we know how to get back together and just chill out. He's really good about that. I feel like uh, apologizing, even if you still feel like you're right, is just something that works. Like, I feel like... um, so like, well, I don't even know how to explain this. Never mind. Um, I just have I have I have a quick question for both Alyssa and Hector. Uh, mm. Hector, do you have you ever been a little spoon? Oh yeah, fucking all the time. It's I love that. Kind of fucking nice, right? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> have you ever little spooned Alan, Alyssa? Yeah, I little spoon him a lot because he likes being little spoon. But I don't like things. Is it like? I feel like I'm a bitch for it, but it's kind of nice, oh, no. right? That's <laughs> great. I don't know. Like it's mm. like all of a sudden I'm just like, ooh, I'm, I'm safe. <laughs> safe. <laughs> fellas can be little spoons too. Hell yeah, yeah fellas. <laughs> yeah. You know, who likes I, big spoon? Do you guys like big spoon? I like it for um, a little bit, but not that long. It it um it depends on like how comfy I am. Like, if I can find, like, the exact right comfort position while being Big Spoon, I'm fine. Like, I can do it for most of the night. But if I'm, like, hot and, like, I don't have a pillow set up right and the hair's all in my face. Oh, the hair's a big <laughs> deal, dude. The hair... Once I hear her snoring, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> once, <laughs> once I hear mine snoring, I legitimately, like, shove her. I'm like, bitch, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, she does these, like, really, really... I I hate to put her on the fucking spot like this, but she does these, like, really, really sharp ones randomly. Like, that'll sound like she's breathing normally, like a... Like, shit like that, right? And then it's and then it's just, like, out of nowhere. Like, I'll finally close my eyes, like, finally. And then it's just... <laughs> and, it's, and it's like, oh my... Like, how did you not wake up from that? Holy shit! <laughs> Alan's uh, snoring sounds like he can't breathe. He'll do a deep, like, breathe in snore, and then it'll be, like, a deep, loud out, and then halfway through the next in, he'll stop. And it'll just be, like, a sharp stop, and it'll be his pause for, like, three seconds, and then he'll continue, but his body will jump a little bit, as if it got no air <laughs> Jesus like he, died he literally is looking he's... like he's dying. What and are you feeding him? <laughs> be a handful of pills at night. <laughs> <laughs> he's having heart murmurs. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Man's gonna yeah, wake up. Sometimes with... I'm like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Man's gonna wake up with half his face drooped. Holy shit! <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Why does everyone fucking snore though? Yeah, I know I don't snore. I feel like I couples are made up of two yeah. people. One that snores and one that doesn't. Mm-hmm. I snore, Everyone. but it's quiet. And definitely quiet compared to his. I, snore I like take videos once, of him snoring all the time. Once in a week or two. 
Like, not that often. I literally don't think I snore at all. Uh, Alyssa, I know you don't snore, at least from whenever I've, like, spent the night. Oh, yeah, it's sometimes. It's like when I'm exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you know you get the best sleep. You snore mm-hmm. your fucking mm-hmm. throat out. You know what I yeah. miss? I miss teleporting from my room to the car on my way to Disneyland. <gasps> Dude, I said that to Alan the other day. I said, can I fall asleep or pretend to so that you can pick me up and put me in bed? (laughs) (laughs) You said those words. Can I pretend to sleep so you can bring me to bed? (laughs) Yeah, I was like like when I was a kid. (laughs) (laughs) My dad used to do that to me. uh, I would watch a movie and then fall asleep and he'd put me in my room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, like, that's like... Man, I fucking miss being a kid. God, right? I miss it so much. Fuck being a doll. Oh uh, my god, I'm if I could change No one carries me to bed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sam just beefs up, starts... <laughs> She's like, wake the fuck up! <laughs> wake the fuck up, samurai. <laughs> god. Yeah. I miss those, uh... Like, I feel like I got such better sleep as a kid... At the same time, I also feel like I didn't. Like, towards, like, middle school, high school, I had, like, the worst sleep of my life. I could never, like, sleep well. Except for the nights when I got home from school and I was so exhausted, which this happens at work when I work morning sometimes. When I get home and I'm exhausted already from work, and like how me and Hector say we get craved. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. That is some of the best fucking nappies ever. Nappies. Uh... I fucking, like, whenever I would be exhausted from work and I come and I take a nap, at, you know, getting craved, worst. Worst shit. I fucking hate naps. Especially yeah. when they're, like, hours long. Most of the time I feel worse after a nap. I always, always feel super yeah. refreshed. And I think that's Like, I got like... hit by a train. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's because it's, like, more of a natural rather than, like, me telling myself, okay, it's time for bed. I feel like it's, like, my body's like, nope, time for sleep. And then your body just feels so much better afterwards. You can wait, I get, there's one time, like, I went to bed, I think it was, like, a very depressing nap, but, like, I was both emotionally exhausted and, like, you know, just regularly exhausted from school. And so I get home, I think my girlfriend just broke up with me at the time, or some shit like that, or something was going on, but, like, I went into, like, the bedroom, and, like, my mom, like, knew something was up, and my sister was, like, gonna come into my room. It was, like, shit, like, from a movie, like, you can hear them in the background, like, outside my room, like, is he okay? Like, yeah, let's just let him, we'll just leave him alone, and then, like, it's, like, zooming in on my face, like, shedding a tear in my bed. (laughs) 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 Like, but that was, like, some of the best sleep I've ever gotten. I felt refreshed as fuck. I think I woke up at, like, five, cleaned my entire room, and made a video. Gosh. There you go. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like I'm way more productive after I have a nappy. A nappy. But I never usually have naps, so. Nappy whack. Not anymore. Uh, not unless, like I said, my body's like fucking exhausted. Uh, mm. if I'm not feeling like, oh my god, I'm literally fading out my chair right now, then I don't, I don't, I don't take <laughs> a nap. I can't force myself. Um. Yeah. I, I feel like on should... Sunday. <laughs> it wasn't actually that bad. Hmm. What are you saying, Kelly? Sorry. Uh. I think nap should come naturally because you're like tucked in your bed and it's like afternoon mm-hmm. and you're like, okay. I agree. And then, like, and then you're like, okay, I can set a timer for this time. If I and fall that asleep, that timer okay. doesn't mean shit. I slept through <laughs> so much. There was that one day that I got home. It was, it was after the work meeting and like I woke uh, up finally and like I look at my phone and it's like everything's like still blurry. Looking at my phone, I have like a million notifications, and I'm like, "Why? I was oh, I was asleep for like four hours, maybe. Like, what the fuck? Uh, I don't know. Yep. <laughs> well, all right, I think uh, I think right there we should just wrap it. Are we? Are we good? There? Yeah, it's an hour and ten minutes. Woo-hoo. Oh my gosh.
Yeah. I can't believe the little lady didn't stay the whole podcast. Yeah, what a bitch. Yeah, the cat oh, can't was right? that bitch. Oh, hey, actually, you guys, you guys didn't know, though, but, like, I don't know, halfway through this, Fluffy came in. And he's been hanging <gasps> yeah. out with me. He's been on the cat cam. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of got a cat key in here. He was kind of yeah. in my lap for a while. That was probably like as soon as Tigger left, Fluffy came up. I think oh, it was around then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Put on your camera on Discord. I want to see the cat. Oh, we, <laughs> Not yet. We got we to gotta close out the podcast. Yeah, we got to wrap it up here, Alyssa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching uh, this episode of Camping Buddies. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the other episodes. We're going to keep them coming as fast as we can. We know, we know, we suck at the whole scheduling thing. It fucking sucks. I know you hate us. It's okay. Uh, it's whatever. Moses' fault. It's not my fault. It's absolutely Hector's fault. Not Kelly's fault either. Definitely Alyssa's fault, partly. How is it mine? She also only spends like two days with their boyfriends a week anyway, so yeah. it's not really her fault. But it's <laughs> but but mostly Hector's what? fault. No, uh -huh. I just wanted to wait that until one. today because my webcam came in the mail. Webcam. Webcam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, no, I'm not saying, like, I think today would have been a better Goodbye, choice. Goodbye, podcast. Anyway, but yeah. but okay. <laughs> thank you, oh, Alyssa. Bye, Jesus. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.